Hey guys, so today's problem is bootstrap navbar drop down menu is not working. Sometimes what will happen if you go to the bootstrap official website, so there you can see you go to components and if you have to go to document first. So after document, if you come to the components, so scroll down below and here components milega. So navbar, if you click on the navbar, you can see like there are sample navbar is provided. So if you follow this, you can get all the codes written in bootstrap and here the drop down menu is also available and the navbar is looking pretty good. But if we copy the code, sometimes it won't work. So let's see. So I have already started my XAMPP server to starting in this port ID and this is my page okay so if we go to the code base you can see like i have created a file test.php if i go to the another index.php or something else you'll get <coughs> the file but in page.php i don't have anything so it is not uh, giving you back anything so i can write here something like if i provide this and let me include a heading in my body part say hello and here this and closing tag let me save this and go back and here okay so this message is coming now i am going to include a nav bar okay so i'm just simply copy this simply copy this and let's come to here i am just removing this and pasting this okay so maybe uh, I have some prettier and I have some attachments. I have some extensions. So through that I can format this. Okay. So this is looking good. Let's go back to the page. So now the problem is coming like this. Uh, Napper is not looking like this. Why? Because the style sheet is not included. Okay. So first you need to include the style sheet and then only you will get an bar like this. So let me include the style sheet. So uh, guess just one thing you need to remember. If you version 5.3, ke upar use kar rahe ho, then you won't get the style sheet from direct the compo direct component. Okay. You just open the component first. So you just copy the things and paste it over your code base. It don't, won't work. It will come like this. So you have to include the style sheet first. To get the style sheet, you have to go to the home page, go to the documents then don't click anywhere just scroll down it'll get quick start okay it'll get include bootstrap css and js so style sheet means css okay cascading tile sheet so that style sheet you have to add okay for that you can see like uh, see in body part we have already included our nav part so you can skip this so you can see like uh, a link is provided okay this css bootstrap min.css this thing okay so this thing you need to provide under head component of your code just copy this okay, come here and this is your head part of your code base just paste it over there okay just let me maintain the indentation okay just save it and now go back refresh the page now the wrapper is coming properly okay so if we click on the drop down see i'm clicking on the drop down but it is not working it's not working while I clicking on the drop down. Why? Because I'm going back to my code base. Let me hide this. Okay. So in code base, I have included everything. I have included the style sheets. I have included the body part. What I didn't include is the component for drop down items. Okay. So what is the component for drop down item is your popper.js. Either you can copy the popper.js or you can directly use their templates. So I can show you both the ways. So for popper.js, you have to come down, come down, come down. So here you can see popper.js. So you can simply copy the script. You can simply copy the script, the first line, and you can go back. And here you have to paste it after this nav. After this nav, you have to paste this. Okay, maybe you can paste it over there. That's it, nothing else. Just save the file go back and here you refresh the page and see nothing has been changed but if i click on the drop down it will come okay so why it is not coming i need to check just give me some time okay let me this both the lines just control x 
maybe yeah after this nav bar i have to copy this both the lines and paste it okay save this and go back refresh this and now the drop down will come okay so better if you uh, copy both the lines and paste it over your code base after this nav tag and then save the file and go back refresh the page and your drop down will work so this is one way guys so there is an another way okay so there is an another way i am removing all the codes from this file let me remove all the codes i'm saving this go back refresh the page so let's see so i removed all the codes from this file so it's like kuch bhi nahi aa is file mein okay so this is test.php this is my local host dido is my folder and this is the file name test.php nothing is coming because nothing is there let me type this okay if i click on this this will take the automatic emit abbreviation just click on the enter button it will come like this okay but it is not at all required at this moment because we are going to use the starter template starter template of bootstrap you just need to go to bootstrap okay open the get bootstrap that first link you will get from the google search uh then go to the docs okay open the docs now uh scroll below you no need to jump to any components or any forms or any any layouts anything okay just scroll on the home page come down so this is the quick start create a new index.html file this is not required scroll down yahan pe aapko dekhiyega ki include bootstrap css and js okay so i have to copy that i have to copy that this is the start template including css and js just copy that link link copied here you have to paste that save that go and refresh the page what you are getting hello world why you are getting this hello world because this is defined i no need to define this h1 tags i'll just remove so here i need to include the nav bar now go to the bootstrap and now scroll down to the components so you'll get the components components so yahan pe aap log dekh sakenge ki nav bar is provided nav and tabs and nav bar so you have to go to nav bar click on the nav bar so now you can see like css is already defined and uh, bundle.js file is already defined so you just need to copy the component of nav bar scroll down and here you will get the nav bar okay so everything is working in the bootstrap page just copy the code code copy it go back to the file and inside the body you can paste it again i have the prettier and uh, html formatter so i can uh, click on the yeah maybe i can click on the formatter to acha dikhne ke liye okay uh, so i have paste this i don't have to change anything i just save the file file has been saved now go back to the server refresh the page and you can see it like nav bar is came so if i click on the drop down this time it will work this time it will work this time it will work why because i have already uh, included the css css to uh, make it uh, something good and if you scroll do, down to the bottom here bundle.js this script i has already included this script okay this script you will get from the uh, home page or starter template so this is the two ways guys so that's it practical problem solving so if you like the video you can subscribe to my channel and in future maybe or bhi sare videos launga bootstrap and react ke upar maybe sometimes php ke upar maybe python ke upar as per the comments yeah thanks a lot and we'll get back to you soon